you anti-aging hacks to look younger at any age. If you don't know already, I am 36, which is hard to say because I still feel like I'm 16, but I am 36 and for a long time now I've been thinking more and more about um, quality skincare and preventive aging skincare. But these hacks are really things you can do at any age, no matter whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whenever. There are things that are going to make you look younger and more youthful, no matter how old you are, how much, uh, how many wrinkles you already have, or how much sun damage you may or may not already have. It's going to help you no matter what. My first anti-aging hack is vitamin C. Not the kind you drink, but the kind that you wear on your skin. Vitamin C is a really great powerhouse when it comes to brightening, evening out the skin, and it really helps to block those free radicals that are in the environment that are going to age you. So it's really important to make sure that you are using vitamin C as part of your daily and nighttime anti-aging regime. The two that I have to show you that I really like are the Turbo, the Philosophy Turbo Booster C Powder. Um, which is really nice. It's 99.8% high potency topical vitamin C powder. And this is nice because you can add it to any other skincare product you have. You can add it to your sunscreen. You can add it to any kind of a day cream that you wear before makeup. You can mix it with anything. And so it makes whatever you're currently using more versatile. And the fact that you're getting your vitamin C without having to go out and actually buy a vitamin C lotion. Uh, another option is the Mad Hippie Advanced Skincare Vitamin C Serum. Um, same thing, you can put it on in the morning and evening and you follow with your face cream or your sunscreen. So it's a really nice way to get that vitamin C in there every day just to help prevent aging and make you look brighter and more luminous because who doesn't want that? There's also an eye cream that I have which is the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. If I use this one, I tend to only use it in the mornings because I don't, um, I use more of an anti-aging like anti-wrinkle. Um, eye cream at night. But in the morning if I want some extra vitamin C boost and just some more moisture under my eyes before I put my makeup on, I really like to use this one. It's really nice and creamy, it's really natural, and it gives you that vitamin C protection and brightening effect under your eyes, which I really like. Anti-aging hack number two is don't forget to treat your neck and your chest. A lot of people just treat the skin on their face and completely leave out their neck and chest area and nothing can age you more than having maybe a youthful looking face but a droopy, sagging, crepey skin, neck or chest. So it's really important to make sure that you use your anti-aging products on your face, your neck and your chest as well as sunscreen. Anti-aging hack number three is to make sure when you're applying any face cream or sunscreen or lotion that you always stroke upwards. You don't want to pull down when you're putting on lotions or sunscreens or foundation. You want to pull up, push up because gravity is already pulling you down and over time constant stroking motions of your skin downward is going to age you unnecessarily. Maybe not a lot but even a little bit can make a difference. So make sure when you put your, your lotions and your creams on that you are moving in upward motions. Hack number four is to exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Not just the skin on your body, but the skin on your face, your neck, and your chest. Nothing is gonna make you look older and more dry and crepey than dead, dry skin cells laying on top of your face. So make sure that you're using an exfoliant on your face, your neck, and your chest to really get off that dead skin to make your skin new and bright and fresh and more luminous all the time, even with or without makeup, but especially if you're putting makeup on top of dead skin, it's just gonna lay there and look old and crepey, and you don't want that. So make sure that you exfoliate at least a couple times a week, depending on the type of skin you have. The oilier skin you have, typically, you can usually exfoliate a little bit more often, um, but even people with sensitive skin can still use a really light exfoliant almost daily if you find the need to. I don't usually do that every day, but a couple times a week for me with my combination skin usually works out perfectly and it really helps to keep your skin looking younger and fresher. Hack number five is to keep up with whitening your smile. Whether you use a professional whitening kit or you get laser treatments done on your teeth or you um, use the Crest white strips or whatever you use, brightening and whitening your smile really does brighten the whole appearance of your face. It makes you look more youthful and just overall brightens your appearance, which I think makes you look younger at any age. Hack number six is to wear sunscreen every day, not just in the summer, not just when the sun is out. Even if you're in the house, it wouldn't hurt you to wear a lotion with maybe a small SPF in it, but especially if you're going out, make sure that you wear sunscreen 
every single day. There are UV rays that get to you, whether you're in your house, you're in your car, you're in the parking lot, and all of that sun damage is, is cumulative. So maybe you won't show signs of aging or freckling or age spots or wrinkles in the beginning, but over time, the more and more exposure you have to the sun, then you're more, it's gonna age you more and more. So you wanna make sure that you start at a very young age with wearing some kind of SPF. It's really easy to now to make sure that you're getting at least a little sunscreen because pretty much every foundation that you can find now has SPF in it. So there's really no excuse for not wearing sunscreen every day. It really is gonna make a huge difference in not only the long-term health effects of reducing your sun exposure, but also the anti-aging effects it's gonna have from not overexposing your skin to the sun's damaging rays. Hack number seven plays right into that, and I've said it you know, a little earlier, not just to put sunscreen on your face, but also on your chest and your hands. Of course, you wanna cover really any exposed areas, but as far as aging goes, and you tend to just put SPF on your face to keep your face protected, what about your neck and chest? What about the backs of your hands? And you don't wanna have a youthful face and then old, crepey looking hands. So you can find hand creams that have SPF in them. You can get an overall body lotion that has SPF and you just kind of wear it everywhere. Um, but make sure that you're protecting not just your face every day, but also your chest and the backs of your hands. And anti-aging hack number eight is to drink plenty of water. Just when you think you're drinking enough water, drink some more. I think pretty much everybody could stand to drink more water. It really is going to hydrate you from the inside out and that includes your skin. When you're hydrated sufficiently, the skin on your body shows it. You're not gonna have as much dryness. Your, your skin's gonna look more plump and youthful. And overall, it's gonna make you look younger. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water, not just for the other health effects that it has, the health benefits that it has, but also because you wanna hydrate your skin internally as well. So those are my eight anti-aging hacks that you need to know at any age to look younger. It really doesn't matter how old you are. These tips will help you to look younger, stay looking younger, longer. So I hope they were helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.